words can never describe the pain, the agony every Muslim feels or should feel at least. Mm. The houses of Allah Azza wa Jal are closed everywhere. The Imam, he was crying like in, in Salat al Jumu'ah, a masjid which is usually packed to the brim, completely empty. Rightfully so, and, and that's a masjid where at least they're doing the sha'air. Still, they're continuing, the symbols you of know, Allah. the symbol, the, the symbol of Sharia is still taking place. Most of our masajid, other places, there's no salah at all. The masjid is closed, locked down. So they're very, very, very tough times. And it's a sign and a message for every single Muslim to wake up, reconnect to Allah Azza wa Jal. Without any doubt, we have to understand and believe as Muslims that Allah Azza wa Jal is in total control of this universe. Mm. No mosque is built without the permission of Allah and no mosque is shut, is shut without the permission of Allah. Allah said in the Quran, Fi buyutin adhin Allahu an turfa'. SubhanAllah. Allah Azza wa Jal gives permission for the house of wow. Allah Azza wa Jal to be built. Wa yudhkara fi hasmu. Without the idhn of Allah, without the permission of Allah, no one can worship, to, no one can worship Allah. No one can be a da'i to Allah. Even the Prophet Allah said, wa da'iyan ila Allah bi idhnihi. By his permission. By his permission. The permission of Allah has to come. So if we understand the principle, the concept that everything is in the hands of Allah, nothing happens, nothing moves, nothing takes place without the irada of Allah and the will of Allah, we have to view all these aqdar as tests. So definitely Allah Azza wa Jal is testing the ummah and every Muslim has to question, why is this happening? Mm. وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ yeah. Any calamity that comes, especially at this scale, this global scale. Unprecedented, it's never unprecedented. seen before. Unprecedented, at least in our generation, in the last maybe 50, 60 years, in these generations, we've never seen anything close to this. Mm -hmm. The majority of us even if, never experienced like things like World War II or you know, like <laughs> these major happenings of yeah. the world. Everything has been smooth. It has been a smooth run for so many decades now. So for these people, it's a wake-up call. You have to understand that things do happen on that large scale and they send the message. Allah Azza wa Jal definitely, definitely is sending a message to humanity that something is wrong. وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ Any calamity that comes, فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرًا Allah forgives so much. This is just a taste. Subhanallah. Allah Azza wa Jal is sending a small wake-up call. Realize Allah Azza wa Jal is in total control. In a second, Allah can change your luxuries, your lifestyle, all these ni'am yeah. that you have been, you know, you, you've been consuming, using, You've adapted to so much like they were given. We're used to it. We're accustomed Allah to Azza it. wa Jal shows you now, wait a minute, remember Allah. Remember that this is not a right. Yeah. It's not a right that you have. It's just Allah Azza wa Jal have given you so much yeah. for so many years. Now it's time to beg Allah Azza wa Jal for these bounties again. Allah says, Surah Al-Rum, ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس. Corruption has appeared on land and in the sea as a result of the actions and decisions and choices of people. SubhanAllah. Again, Allah is only giving a test. Mm. Allah Azza wa can destroy everyone. Mm. Allah can, His punishment, subhanahu wa ta'ala, can be destruction for everyone. This is not, I, I personally don't believe this is punishment from Allah. Mm. I believe punishment, when we say punishment, it means dying on disobedience. When Allah takes your life mm. as a disobedient slave in sin, in haram, in lack of gratitude, that's punishment. Anything under this is a test from Allah, a wake-up call from Allah Azza wa Jal. Mm. So this, I don't believe is punishment. I believe this is a massive wake-up call for all the ummah to sit down and ponder. لِيُذِيقَهُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا Only a portion of the sins. A taste. Only a yeah. taste. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Maybe they will turn to Allah.